I'm going to show you how you can install PowerShell 7 on Windows Server. So the first thing we want to do is open up a web browser and get our PowerShell 7 installation files. So in any search engine, if we search for PowerShell 7, we should find the page for installing PowerShell on Windows. So if we select that, and then on here, this is where we can get our file packages. So we can see that there are multiple ways to install PowerShell on Windows. And the best choice for Windows servers and enterprise deployment scenarios is the MSI package. So if we select that, it will take us to installing the MSI package. And then what we can do is we can select the PowerShell 7.4.0 for Windows. At the moment, the latest version is 7.4.0, but in the future, that will likely be higher. So I'm just going to select this and then download it. And then once that's downloaded, I can open up File Explorer. And then if we right click our PowerShell MSI package, we can then select install. And then we can go through the wizard. So by default, PowerShell 7 will install to C program files PowerShell. So I'm going to leave it at that directory and then press next. We then got a couple of additional actions we can set up. So by default, it adds PowerShell 7 to the path environment variables, and it also registers the Windows event logging manifest. But what we can also do is we can disable any telemetry. We can add the open here context menu to the file explorer. So if you right click a folder within File Explorer, you can open up a PowerShell terminal right at that folder. And we can also add run with PowerShell 7 to the right click context menu. So if you right click a PowerShell file, you can run it directly within PowerShell 7. You can also enable PowerShell remoting. I'm not going to cover any of that in this video, uh, but you'll know if you need that. But I'm going to leave that as disabled for the time being. However, it can be enabled easily at a later date. So I've selected all of the options other than PowerShell remoting and then press next. Unless you plan to lock your version at the version you're installing, I recommend you leave both of these options enabled so that it automatically gets updated and then press next. And then we can press install to finish the PowerShell install. Now that's finished, we can press finish and we've got PowerShell 7 installed. Now to actually run PowerShell 7, if we press the start menu and then search for PowerShell, we'll see that we've got our Windows PowerShell as well as PowerShell 7. So we do have both PowerShell 5 and PowerShell 7 installed at the same time. And they can both be run at the same time. And they are two totally independent applications. So if I run PS version table on our original PowerShell, we can see that we've still got PowerShell 5.1. And if I run the exact same command in our PowerShell 7, we can see that we've got our PowerShell 7.4 running at the same time. Now to actually run scripts using PowerShell 7, it is slightly different. So I've got a scripts folder and I've got a script and the only thing it does is it runs the PowerShell version. So if we've got a script and we want to run it manually, we can right click and as we added the context menu, we've got run with PowerShell, which will run it in PowerShell version five. And then we can also right click and run it with PowerShell 7, which will run the exact same script, but using PowerShell 7. So let's say we want to actually run this script from a terminal or through some kind of task scheduling application or remote script executor. What we can do is we can get the terminal up. And then what we would previously do to run something within PowerShell 5, we would do PowerShell.exe dash file, and then the path and the script name. So if we run this, we can see that it's run with PowerShell version 5.1. However, what PowerShell 7 has done is added a new command, which is pwsh.exe. And then we can do dash file and then the script name again. And then we can see what that's done. It's run the script using PowerShell version 7. So if you've got any scheduled tasks or software that runs a script, instead of using the old PowerShell.exe, what you can do is you can change it to PWSH, so it will run it with the new PowerShell 7. So that's how you can install PowerShell 7 side by side with PowerShell 5, and then run scripts using either PowerShell 7 or PowerShell 5.